Hey, this is Christy Kendall, and these are your questions. <laughs> Jason265 wants to know why I recommend taking caffeine an hour before you work out. He thinks you should feel the effects within 20 minutes of caffeine ingestion. Well, Jason, you are correct. You probably can't feel some of the effects of caffeine within 20 minutes, but the research shows that peak caffeine levels in the blood hit around 60 minutes. So I recommend taking your pre-workout or caffeine containing supplement before you get to the gym. By the time you finish your warm up, you're ready to go. Higher rep days, I'm right around 115. If it's more of a strength protocol, about five to six reps around 125, 130. Brian wants to know if he can add creatine to his supplement regimen and if there's any research suggesting that it could be harmful to his kidneys and liver. Well, Brian, that is one of the many myths that is outdated, and there's plenty of research to show that creatine is not only safe, but effective. In fact, there are several long-term studies that have shown no negative side effects when taking creatine every single day for up to two to three years. So I would take your trainer's advice and add creatine to your daily supplement stack. Ted's still waiting for me to take my blouse off. Well, Ted, you're going to keep on waiting. <sighs> How important is intra-workout supplementation? Should I always take BCAAs or can I just do with water? I really only recommend BCAAs if you're working out fasted. So if you train early, early in the morning, you don't want to eat before you work out. BCAAs actually serve as an energy source so that your body doesn't break down muscle. You can also take BCAAs during extended workouts. So anytime your workouts are longer than about 45 minutes or an hour, I definitely recommend sipping on them throughout your entire workout. Leon wants to know if he can take his creatine with milk. Sure, he can. Sounds a little weird, but it won't affect the absorption. So if that's how you like to take it, go for it. He also wants to know if milk can increase or decrease testosterone. It really doesn't have much of an effect, but if you do want to increase testosterone level, higher fat diets are actually quite beneficial. So if you want to start increasing your milk consumption, I would go with higher fat. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> Thanks for all the questions. If you have any more, leave them below.